く何もできなかっただがリウィンがこの国を生かすこれでアシナの世は開けるあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ They're letting the bug out, aren't they? Oh god. What the fuck? They're letting something out. Is that the one? Or, or Ishin? Oh my god, that is fucking cool and sick. They had a whole person inside of them. Ishin. Ishin. Hmm. I have to take him down three times, which means four times in total for this Holy whole fight. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I love how flowy the robe is. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, they got that vicious multi-stab. The quick draw thing. I guess I'll use a resurrect? Yeah. To see more of the fight. Quitting a resurrect back is relatively easy compared to getting this phase of the fight again. Yeah. Wait a minute. Am I doing zero damage to their vitality? Are you? This might be a not vitality fight. Uh oh. Look at their vitality. Oh. Yeah, that's like nothing. It's all posture, isn't it? It's all posture, isn't it? Uh oh. Kuro seems to be just like dead there. Mm hmm. Kuro's just what? Was that Kuro? In the grass? Yeah. Oh, Kuro. <laughs> I think they're hinting that you need to not let up. Hesitation is defeat. Oh. Um. Well, I might as well use my Jizo statue. Yeah. If not for this, then what for? Surely this is the final boss. Oh, yes. Weakus. Okay, that tell I can see easily. Mm. Like this one? Oh, oh. That came a little bit earlier than I expected, actually. Tricky, like next to them, like what up? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Can we watch the cutscene again? Do you want to? Yes. Okay, it is really cool. <laughs> that sword's supposed to open up the gate to the underworld, right? Are they like doing that in their neck and their father's coming out of their wound from the underworld? Oh my god. <laughs> Is that what's happening? 
Maybe. この国を生かす。これでアシナの世は開ける。I have to say, I'm not super happy that they put suicide in this game. Hmm, yeah. Do you think Divine Confetti would help? No. Maybe the stick arm. Hmm. わしはこのアシナをよみがえらせねばならぬ。They have that red fog around them. Does that mean anything in particular? Like, I'm just trying to think if there's something I can use. Well, you set yourself at the first place, at least, seems to be just all about posture. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess for this, go probably、punch. Gokons again. Yeah. Let's go, go, Gokon. Wait, I just hurt their vitality. Yeah, you did. Wow. How, how come nothing I did before hurt their vitality? I guess you never hit them. I guess they blocked everything. Holy shit. Hmm. That's making me think of things like the Lazlite Axe and the Shuriken. Yeah, they both will do damage to vitality even if guarded. Yeah. I mean, I don't have enough emblems to just use them, though, through three stages. <laughs> yeah. Again, you see what a twink wolf is. Shit! I know what that is. Oh. oh. Do they have any way of closing distance fast? They don't seem to have any ranged attack. They do. I mean, they got that, but that doesn't get me. Like, I can just be here and just do whatever I want. I guess so. And they、yeah. just walk slowly towards me. Don't have anything on right now if you want to add something. Yeah, it's just. Man, I cannot back up for a second. I need to either take down their vitality or I cannot back up for a second.、Mm. One or the other. I can reliably get damage if I do the counterattack. The. this? Yeah. Or maybe just get behind him? Oh. Shit, I always try to like think that's a Makiri counter, but it's not. Is a Makiri counter.
Yeah, like this first phase really is not that hard. Yeah. Not at all. But you. You fucker. Make you angry? <laughs> Maybe I should throw ash at their face. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> it's just a really beautiful battlefield, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? They like battlefields like this as the final place to fight. They did it here and in Bloodborne. Yeah. I think Dark Souls 3 final battlefield was also like pretty fucking huge. I can't think of any particular strategy, honestly, other than just like learn the moves better. Yeah. Giku. Yeah. And keep taking my sugar. Keep getting, uh, Keep your blood sugar high. Whoa, what is that? Holy, Holy shit. shit, that's new. Shit. That's going to be a Makiri counter or a thing to jump at. Yeah. Okay, what's your next phase look like? Please tell me you don't get stronger. <laughs> hey, well, that's new. Okay, yeah, they get stronger. New weapon, huh? Okay, so now they're not so chill. They have two weapons, including a super long one. It's oh. all thundery, and... Oh, and they don't... They have no chill. They don't just walk towards you slowly. They're like, no, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Okay, cool. Hmm. What the fuck? You have a gun? <laughs> oh my god. Was this Bloodborne? Don't shoot me. Yeah. 
Should I use one? Sure. I'm going to have to farm to get another one, though. Yeah. Uh, you have a rice. You could eat the rice, by the way. That's true. Numb. I can tell why this one's called a fucking hard fight. Leave this in the recording, and hey, this is a daily reminder to fucking wash your hands. Wash when you your come. hands. Yeah, wash your hands when you leave the bathroom, and actually, wash your hands before you eat too. Always, just wash your goddamn hands, people. We cuss. First phase really is so easy. Yeah. <coughs> now this phase is relatively easy. I know I can just like chill, like back up, heal using my pellets. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Oh, you didn't get more rice. Oh, right. Next I will get more rice. Damn good. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. asshole. Jesus.
So basically this whole fight is you never have time to attack. Yeah. I mean, you do, but like 90% of the time, it seems like you should just deflect. Yeah. And whenever you think they're done attacking, they're not. Keep deflecting. No weakness. Damn. Shit. Come in there. What the hell? I did, I just, I gotta do it later. That's a first. Yeah, I've only seen that like AOE, not the straight forwards. Yeah. Should you take more Gokan? Yeah.
shit. Is that right? Ah, and there goes all my posture that I did to him. All of it. So basically all my progress. It's not bad. Yeah. How my blood boils. I don't know, that just reminds me of Malcontent. Where did it say it? Didn't something say about quelling rage or something? Yeah. Like, I don't think they're an apparition, though. Maybe it was the malcontent train. Yeah. Should I try whistling at him? Mm, sure, but I don't think it'll do anything. Not surprisingly, it did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hold on, hold on. They do not hold on, huh? Jesus. I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. Okay, hold on. It's actually going pretty well. Yeah. Yes. Okay, at least we finally get to see the final phase. I'm yes. gonna take rice. Yes, yes, yes. Eat that rice. Eat that snow. I got a strong feeling we're about to get electricity. I think I just saw it, actually. Yeah. Um, okay, so jump in the air. I need to get hit by it in the air and then redirect it to them How by attack. How many eels do you have? Oh, I think I got like a million. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I think you preemptively have one. Oh, yes. Shit. 
Hold on. Go guns. Uh, Divine Grass. Divine Grass. Oh, I have pellets too. Let's use Divine Grass right now. Yes. Just entirely avoiding it's fine too. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's alright. Not alive. We got pellets. Holy shit, is that it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! I can't That's believe so I... dramatic and epic. I, yeah, I thought I was going to push him off the edge or something. I did not think I would get it so soon. Wow. That might have been quicker than the uh, Demon of Hatred fight, maybe. Go back to the fucking underworld. <laughs> <sighs> Can I just like clap for you for a second? Hell yeah. High five. Push. Push. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> I made a gamer girl. Yeah. Oh. At his peak, Ashina Ashina devoted himself to deadly conflict in pursuit of strength. A single-minded killing machine of a man. Damn. A new skill. Is this not the end of the game? Why are they giving me new stuff? I don't know. Combat art that performs a high-speed cut from a sheathed stance. Charge to send out shock <clears throat> shockwaves. Cause spirit emblems to use. In his younger years, Ashin was a devil with a sword, spending his days in pursuit of life or death combat. He often ruminated on how a cut should be made, but his blade always moved first. I have a skill that's like the thing from a sheathed dance, so I wonder how that's different. I don't think that other one had a shockwave. Yeah, I think this just one just adds the shockwave. Oh boy. So... Kneel before divine air. I think we need to give them the tear and the dragon. The two things? What two things were they? Um. um dragon's tear and. Divine dragon's tear and the frozen tear. Yeah. Yes. Both? Yes. Thank 
クロウ殿今はどうか安らかに私の心にとどまってくださいクロウさようなら、みんな。私は、行かねばなりません。我らの因果を、断ち切るために。とても長い旅になります。それでも共に、来てくださるのですかはい。ありがとう竜の忍びよ九郎殿も喜んでおります参りましょう西に神なる竜の故郷に。So I'm guessing if we didn't give them the tears, the, the frozen tears,、mm. then they would have just simply died and that would have been it? I guess so. So I think the frozen tears is what allowed them to go inside of her. The,、uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's good that we did that because otherwise I think they would be dead, dead rather than gone but sort of there. Yeah. Two get to one, huh? <laughs> yeah. You can be like, Where she, where's your brother? And she's like,、uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Of course, good. <laughs> Dinner's ready, let's go. <laughs> I gotta eat for two. <laughs> <laughs> she's always like, Can I have dessert for two, too? And he's like, No, you can only have one piece of today's persimmon crumble that I made for you. <laughs> And they were totally setting that up for a sequel, right? Yeah. We have another, we have a journey to the West. So obviously, we didn't actually sever the ties to immortality there, right? We had to go to the West where the divine dragon or dragons come from? Yes. Would we have severed the ties if we didn't give them the frozen tear? Would that have just been the end of it? Yes. Do you want to look up the other end, actually? Yes. Yeah, let's look up the other end and we'll come back with that. So, obviously, obviously that will be big spoilers. Okay, so we just skimmed through a video of all the different endings. And also, I looked at the wiki to try to figure out like, exactly how they're activated. There's four different endings.、Um, three of them take place right at the end there, where it just depends on what you choose to give Kuro as they're laying there dying. And the fourth one. It's actually all the way, 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 way back where you fight Owl. Remember when Owl comes up to that big boss arena?、Um, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Kuro's there, and、uh, the Owl says, like, uphold the Iron Code, fight with me. They want, like, immortality or, or something like that. And we chose to not uphold the Iron Code and defend Kuro instead. But if you actually choose to uphold the Iron Code and help your dad, That's actually a totally separate ending. And when you do that, you have to fight Emma. And then you have to fight Ishin, but the living, not the undead Ishin.、Um, and then after that, it ends. So you got a couple unique boss fights, but then it also is kind of a premature end because it just pretty much ends right there.、Mm. And for the three other endings, you have the one that we just did, obviously. That one is apparently one of the hardest to get, which is pretty cool. I feel really good about that. Sort of the default ending is the one where you only give Kuro the Divine Dragon Tears. 
And in that one, Sekiro ends up becoming, basically they end up becoming the sculptor. It's like a little cutscene where, well, they're the new sculptor. Um, and then the fourth one is one I didn't even know you could do. The fourth one requires you to do a lot of eavesdropping on Kuro. I didn't even know you could eavesdrop on Kuro, but I guess when they're li- when they're in the library or in their room, if you like go up against a wall, you can like eavesdrop on them around the corner or something. So if you do a lot of eavesdropping, you can start something that eventually will allow you to go into a second memory, like the Harada Estate, and go into another one. And there's like a couple mini bosses apparently. It sounds like you fight your father in the Lady Butterfly room. But that's got to be after you already fought your father up above. So I guess that's like fighting your father a second time or something. It's like a whole thing with some unique stuff. And you end up getting an aromatic flower. And then at the very end, you give the aromatic flower and the Divine Dragon Tears to Kuro. And I think that might have been the ending where you both, like, sever both of your immortal ties right then and there. Not just Kuro, but Kuro and Sekiro. Something like that. Not quite sure. We can just skim through the video. You can look it up on YouTube if you want. So yeah, four different endings. And we got one of the hardest on the first playthrough. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Start playthrough number two. Now, I'm going to say yes. Just I want to see what happens. Yeah. Like, is there a cutscene or what happens? You will not be able to return to the current playthrough. (laughs) That's fine. We really did everything. Yeah. Ended up with zero prayer beads. I'm pretty sure we got every single prayer bead. Mm. And that they did make sure that it balanced. So this is just the opening cutscene, right? Yeah. We're just going to wake up down here. Ooh, I have 10 gourds already. Oh. Kuro's charm, is that unique too? Yes. Yeah, so it looks like our health bar is still there. Really big. So it's new game plus. Yeah. Um, oh, I think I have all my inventory. I can't use it because we're in the prologue, but... Yeah, it seems like you keep, like, basically everything. Yeah. Yeah, all skills. Nice. Nice. So now, look forward to me playing through this game. <laughs> that one's going to be, uh, 300 hours. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to find Kuro's charm. What is that? Placed on a wolf's person in secret after he lost his life in Harada Estate and gained the power of resurrection. The charm has protected the wolf well, tempering his ordeals. To part with it would mean facing a path of hardship beyond that endured thus far. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Yeah. Almost sounds like if you get rid of it, it's like an extra hard mode. Yeah. But I can't just use it right now huh okay well let's finish up with some super rambly thoughts on Sekiro and Dark Soulsian games and from software overall impressions I really really like this game um I think I liked it no I definitely liked it more than Dark Souls 2 or 3 yes absolutely which are the only ones that I've played I think it looks beautiful I think all of the mechanical changes that they've made to it makes the movement and the combat and the exploration a lot more fun and interesting Yes. Although I did choose a very particular playstyle in Dark Souls 2 and 3 that maybe wasn't the best suited for those games. I don't know. Like if I play a different character that's more about pairing and stuff like that, maybe I would have enjoyed the combat more in those games. And I still did enjoy the combat, but I just love the fluidity here and how exciting and fast it is. Yes. And it just like looks so good. It looks choreographed. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I really like Sekiro. I I think he's a, like a really cool character, even though he's a total dumb twink. I don't know who the demon of hatred was. <laughs> I love him, and I wish he was my dad, because he seems like a really good dad. Yeah, actually, we were kind of waiting at the beginning for some character creation screen to show up. Like, we didn't know that this was actually just a character. That's predefined for you and it doesn't change. And that's a big change from Dark Souls. Yes. In all the Dark Souls games, you've had your own character creation and... Like, your character hasn't... Your character's never spoken, right? 
Uh, no, you don't have like a character, play character, voice actor beyond like the. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, just <laughs> grunt noises and stuff. Yeah, so that's a pretty big change. Going with a like really well defined character instead of this amorphous thing. And I think I kind of like that. Yeah. Like the main characters in the Dark Souls games, they wouldn't, they didn't really mean anything. No. To me, you know, I didn't really like feel like I wanted them to succeed. I wanted to succeed, but I didn't really feel anything for the character themselves in particular. So I like that they've actually made a character with personality and a, a voice. Like I actually cared about Sekiro. Yeah. A weird little ashy twink boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From what software said, gay rights and trans rights. They did? Yeah. I want to say it was like a really, really, really pretty game. I really appreciate seeing like different kind of architecture. And this game never went like, okay, and here's like a tunnel that's just like brick and looks, every place looks the same. Which was like in Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 and like Dark Souls 1 was basically just everything looks the same dot com. Yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful and varied and colorful. It's it's nice to see a pretty big change in direction from from software because Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, they're all iterating on each other and pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Usually not making any huge changes to the formula, but this feels like a pretty big change. It feels a lot different. And I like that. It feels a like good kind of different. Yeah. Like, they didn't change shit just to change it. They changed shit because they came up with, like, a really good combat system. Yeah. And a really good story. And a really good universe. And a really good roar. And some two really good kids. Yeah. That you can be a daddy to. <laughs> daddy Simulator 2019 has, for me, two out of two kids. <laughs> So it really seemed like they were setting up a sequel in that end there. Although there are four different endings. So I don't, you know, what's the true end or whatever. Yeah. But I know this game was super successful financially. As and, it should have been. Yeah. And critically, I think. I hope. So I think there's a pretty good chance they're going to make a sequel. They haven't announced any DLC at the moment of recording. But I also think there's probably a pretty good chance they're going to do some of that too. And yeah, any DLC or future games that come out in the Sekiro series, I'm definitely going to play. Hell yeah. So thanks for watching the first dual commentary series with me and my wife, Anni. Thanks for not hating, hating on me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.